Good day, I'm Samantha Allen and this is your JIS News. National Security Minister Peter Bunting has issued a call to action for Jamaicans to commit to taking bold action against crime and violence this jubilee year. Minister Bunting said the country had to unite around bringing crime statistics down to first world levels within the shortest possible time. And start to issue a standard of zero tolerance for criminal behavior, whether it affects you or not. We have to, to take this on as, as a mission. Let us make it our Jamaica 50 mission. The National Security Minister said promoting proper values and attitudes would be important to the process, with all leaders playing a key role, whether in the church, civil society, schools or in the political arena. Minister Bunting was speaking at the recent opening of the Malvern Police Station in St. Elizabeth. The building, which houses the station and courthouse, was destroyed by Hurricane Dean in 2007, forcing the police to occupy another structure on the premises. The new facility was constructed at a cost of $15 million. In the meantime, the National Security Minister says efforts will be made this fiscal year to carry out repairs and maintenance on a number of police stations. He says that due to fiscal constraints, it is not anticipated that any new stations will be built this financial year, but every effort will be made to effect repairs to stations with the most pressing needs. Among those is the Morgan's Bridge Police Station in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, where refurbishing work is to get underway during the July to September financial quarter. We are going to go ahead and take the responsibility of repairing the roof and uh, then doing the uh, internal uh, remedial work uh, to correct the damage that has been done from that leaking, uh, the electricals and some of the ceiling tiles, etc. internally and really try and, you know, make it a little more comfortable for the men and women serving at that station. Government has secured job opportunities in Canada for Jamaicans skilled in a number of areas under the Overseas Work Program. The Labour and Social Security Ministry is urgently seeking trailer drivers and heavy-duty mechanics to fill existing vacancies in several large Canadian companies. Drivers must have experience in hauling petroleum, LNG or any bulk liquid product. Mechanics are required to have experience working with Caterpillar engines and auxiliary equipment and the repair or rebuilding of mining equipment. The ministry is also looking for several categories of hospitality workers to fill vacancies in the Canadian work market. These employment opportunities were secured following a recent visit to Canada by the Labour and Social Security Minister Derek Kellyer. The Canadian labour market is experiencing a skill deficit in these areas and the ministry is positioning itself to fill these gaps and expand the scope of employment for Jamaicans abroad. And finally, the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, the JCDC, is promising a spectacular showing for the 2012 Independence Grand Gala, the showpiece of the Golden Jubilee celebrations. JCDC's Acting Executive Director Delroy Gordon says the three-and-a-half-hour-long show to be held at the National Arena will be full of surprises and many wow moments. I don't want to give away too much about the Grand Gala you know, because one of the interesting things about the Grand Gala is the elements of surprise and all of those wow moments. But we have had great, great Grand Galas over the years. And this being Jamaica 50, it's going to be the mother of all galas. Dubbed Tributes in Gold, the gala will highlight the significant achievements of the nation over the past 50 years with performances presented in three acts, Eternal Father, Bless Our Land, Natural Mystic and Tomorrow's People. While the gala is free to the public, persons will need a ticket to attend. Ticket outlets will be publicized a week or two before the gala. In the meantime, journalists are being reminded that they will need to be accredited to cover the Independence Grand Gala. The Jamaica Information Service is responsible for media accreditation for the event, and accreditation forms are posted on the agency's website at www.jis.gov.jm. Forms must be submitted by July 26. For more information on the media accreditation process, contact Enthros Campbell, Elaine Record or Judith Hunter at 926-374026 or 926-359024. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Samantha Allen. Thanks for watching.